if you go to any diner or old historic burger place in Oklahoma, you will get to have an Oklahoma onion burger. And let me tell you, you have not lived until you've tried one of these. They're super fun to make too. So I've been toasting the bun first, really golden and crisp. So I'm gonna let the bun hang out. I will be back. And then I'm gonna crank up the skillet and get it really hot. So I have two balls of ground beef, equal size balls. This is a double burger. And I'm just gonna sprinkle on salt and pepper on the outside. Very, very generous with the seasoning. And then I'm gonna get the ground beef into the skillet. Whoop! I have a pretty big skillet because I need to cook both of these at the same time. So I've got a little smasher, but you can also use a really nice, heavy spatula. And I'm gonna smash the burger about halfway flat. So this is where the onions come in. I have a whole bunch of very, very thinly sliced onions, and I'm gonna lay a crazy amount on top of each patty. And then I'm gonna grab the smasher and smash these patties as flat as I can possibly get them. And this is why you wanna use a pretty big skillet. You could also use two smaller iron skillets if you have those and cook the patties separately. So you can see that when I smash the burgers, those onions kind of got smashed into the beef. So I'm actually gonna add more onions. Yes, I'm adding more onions. This is called an Oklahoma onion burger. <laughs> and they are so good. So just make sure you smash them with the onions really pressed into the meat. And then it's just kind of about babysitting them until it's time to flip. I'm not sure where the Oklahoma onion burger first originated, but it is said that it came about during the depression when burger joints were trying to figure out a way to stretch the beef a little bit more. So they started adding a lot of onions, and that way they didn't have to use much beef. That's the legend anyway. So keep an eye on the burgers as they cook, and if they look like they're kind of shrinking in, just give them another smush. <laughs> I have a smusher and I'm not afraid to use it. So the great thing about cooking the onions on the top of the burgers while they cook is that the onions get a little bit steamed and start to soften. So when it's time to flip them over, then they can get really nice and brown. So I think that time has come. So when it's time to flip the burgers, you'll be glad that you smushed the onions into the top because then they stay attached. And by the way, this is a messy oniony proposition and that's what makes these burgers so good. So give them another little smash when you turn them over. And this is where the cheese comes in. So you have to use American cheese when you make an Oklahoma onion burger. I'm putting two really thin slices on each patty. And American cheese just melts really kind of soft and creamy and it melts pretty fast too. Okay, and then I'll grab the top bun and I'll put it on one of the patties. And that way the flavor from the burger is just gonna permeate that bun and make the whole thing even more flavorful. Okay, I just need to give the burgers about a minute and a half longer and then I'll show you what we've got. You cannot believe how good this kitchen smells right now. Oh my word. So everything is ready. I'm gonna scrape underneath the burgers on this first patty, and I'm gonna put this straight on top of the second patty. So don't worry if the second patty looked like it wasn't going to melt because the top patty just took care of that. So I'm gonna put the bottom bun on the serving plate and gather up any stray onions that have sort of decided to stick to the skillet. I don't want any onion to be left behind. <laughs> and then check this out. It goes straight on. I mean, I highly recommend you go out and have an Oklahoma onion burger 
next time you go on a first date. I mean, just set the stage for the kind of gal or guy you are. I mean, can you imagine just diving into that on a first date? <laughs> I haven't been on a first date in a really long time, so I don't know if that's still a thing anymore, but look at this. You can see the beautiful cooked onions in between the layers. The bottom has a beautiful bed of those charred onions. Oh, honestly, the lettuce, tomato, and pickles aren't even necessary, but it's pretty on the plate. Oklahoma onion burger. I love you, old friend. I need to be alone with this. 